Anglesey Herman got accused of stealing Jeremy Vine's watering can. Jeremy Vine, famous for his lunchtime current affairs show on BBC Radio 2 and for presenting the TV game show Eggheads, owned a very nice, thick, cast metal watering can which was painted a very appealing shade of dark green. It was light, even when full, and produced an even sprinkle of water, just perfect for dousing a small flower bed. And it was sought after. Anglesey Herman once lived opposite Jeremy Vine at the end of a charming little cul-de-sac. It was a lovely open area, small trees ringed an area of grass situated in the middle of the cul-de-sac. And looking out of his kitchen window, across the green and through the trees, Anglesey Herman quite often saw Mr Vine tenderly watering his flowers. And yes, he did admire that watering can. The thing is, Jeremy Vine had no idea his watering can had this desirous effect upon his neighbours. It wasn't just Anglesey Herman who was guilty of breaking the Tenth Commandment. Mr Vine used to leave the watering can just beside his porch, beneath the gutter pipe where it could be filled with fresh rainwater. Basically, it was wide open. And it wasn't long before somebody took advantage. Anglesey Herman didn't just covet. He lusted, he pined, he wanted that watering can, and he'd made no secret of it. Thankfully, eBay came to the rescue. There it was, for twenty four ninety nine plus postage and packing, a watering can exactly like Jeremy Vine's. Oh, it was with such immense pride that when Herman strode out into his garden one cool summer evening to water the flower beds with his newest prized possession. You can imagine his surprise when he saw Jeremy Vine walking purposely across the green towards him. That's my watering can, Jeremy Vine declared. I left mine out on the porch three nights ago and I haven't seen it since. Anglesey Herman may be covetous, and yes, he's broken the Tenth Commandment on many an occasion, but never, never has he broken the Eighth Commandment. Never has he actually stolen anything. Sorry, Mr Vine, said Anglesey Herman. This isn't your watering can. I bought this on eBay. I can even show you the packing slip if you like. Jeremy Vine asked to inspect the watering can, to which Anglesey Herman duly obliged. Mr Vine emptied the can of its contents, turned it upside down and pointed to a small dent on the bottom. You see that dent? That's where I accidentally clouted one of my garden names with this watering can. Anglesey Herman could indeed see a dent, but he wasn't convinced. That could have happened during transit. It was just coincidence. Mr Vine wasn't about to give up so easily. You see that little mark there, next to the dent? Herman looked a little closer and could see a tiny little red graze next to the dent. That, said Jeremy Vine, is where the can scraped the top of one of my garden gnomes. He pointed to a row of garden gnomes lined up neatly beside his flower bed. The largest of the gnomes was holding a watering can, bearded with a tall red hat. Anglesey Herman had to concede this was indeed Jeremy Vine's watering can. Could someone possibly have stolen it and then put it on eBay to sell? Could it be possible that someone had not only just stolen it brazenly outside someone's house but then sold it to somebody who lived on the same street as the theft victim? Surely not. It beggared belief. It was beyond the realms of plausibility. Or was it? Herman had no choice but to hand the watering can back to Jeremy Vine. It was with a rising sense of anger that he watched him tend to his dry flower beds. Herman checked the eBay seller's details, and there it was. The thief lived just around the corner, and what's more, Herman knew who it was. Now Anglesey Herman didn't let on who had stolen the watering can, because he knew, he knew that Jeremy Vine would not be very happy. The last time Mr Vine thought somebody had stolen one of his garden gnomes, he followed the thief home. What revenge he took, Herman didn't know. Both Jeremy and his wife had gone quite silent on the subject, and the theft of the gnome was never mentioned again. No, Anglesey Herman would deal with this in his own way. And that is another story for another day.